In this question, we're asked to determine whether y squared minus x equals 5 is a function or not. We analyze this function just like we did before. We solve for y. We can start by moving the negative x over to the right-hand side, making it positive. And at this stage, we can carefully use the square root property to solve this equation for y. We can take the square root of both sides, taking care that when we do that, we're going to end up with two possible solutions here. Whenever we take the square root of y squared or some quantity squared, we're always left with the positive or the negative. So in this case, the square root of y squared will yield plus or minus the square root of x plus 5. Now this cleans up to y equals plus or minus the square root of x plus 5, which indicates to us that if we were to plug in a single value of x here, say 1, we would end up getting two solutions for y, the square root of 6 and the negative square root of 6. Since we get two solutions for y for one input from x, this given equation does not represent a function.